Hey everybody, the Pirates are on the horizon, and that means it is getting close to December 1st, 2022. It is just a week before that date on Black Friday, and we do have a new blog post to check out about the new pirate event coming, which will feature two commanders and two ships, so let's go ahead and check it out. First up though, every pirate needs a suitably terrifying flag, eh? So plunder this dedicated cursed devilfish, one with the code, and the code is right here. I will have a link to all that down below, so go ahead and get your pirate flag. Um, hope it's a real pirate flag. I'm not really sure what it is, but uh, check it out and let me know what you think. Then they have a link to a video here. I will have that link down below as well, so you're going to want to check out the link to get to know the pirate heroes or villains a little bit better and maybe have a little inkling about those ships as well. First up though is Adrian M. Davis. Base trait is Labyrinthian Prowess, which will improve the torpedo launcher reload time and the cooldown time of all the consumables. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, Caprice from the French fleet is one of her most impressive deeds yet. So she is a destroyer commander best suited to the British since her unique skills put an emphasis on single two by two torpedoes. However, her base trait is very unusual and you could even do well in appointing her as a cruiser captain. Whoa. So there you go, a lot of people are using destroyer commanders with cruisers like with the Minotaur and the Smogathon and in some cases I think you might even want to try a uh, cruiser commander on a destroyer like the Kavarosk for example. So here is another one of those commanders that can go across multiple ships it seems like. And let me see here the base trait we already went over that the Labyrinth of Prowess. Unique skill though is Sinister Strike. Increase individually launched torpedo damage by up to 5%, and it does increase the smoke screen dispersion time by up to 4%. So that is, uh, yeah, that's a unique skill. You're gonna wanna check that out. And then the battleship commander here is Michael Latier, and his base trait is, well, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it does improve the ship's ATBA shell damage, or as it used to be known, the secondaries a fan of gold but also surprisingly generous. Michael didn't choose the pirate life it shows him. The rumors swirling between his colleagues say that he lives his life in retirement somewhere in the Mediterranean but the real question is can you ever trust a pirate? All right so he's a solid choice as a French battleship commander and his focus primarily being on close quarters combat. Ooh. So, uh, are there any French ships that have good secondaries? Uh, maybe the Flandre. Anyway, it should probably go without saying that his ship is the perfect option for such a place out. So it'll be very interesting to see which ship is perfectly suited for close quarters combat, uh, which would be the secondaries, I think. His base trait um, improves the secondary artillery and his unique skill provides a survivability boost. Whoa. All right, so uh, base trait is Laverdage. Laverdage, I don't know. Increases a ship's ATBA or secondary shell damage by up to 10%. Unique skill, I'll be back. Reduces fire duration when damage control party is on cooldown. Reduce the flooding damage to your ship by uh, both up to 10%. Wow, that is a pretty good increase for two skills. Or, or two features in one skill, uh, damage control party cooldown and the flooding damage uh, to your ship. A lot of times those are split up between the uh, uh, base amount. So here uh, you'll get 10% on the flooding damage and 10% on a damage control party cooldown. Uh, no pirate can achieve greatness and by that we mean tons of plunder without a great ship. So here's a mighty pair to match their swashbuckling captains. First up is the Caprice. It's from the French Navy and it's based on the tier seven destroyer La Fantastique with the following changes. And there's some red right here, so that is a nerf. So let's check it out. The destroyer is a British ship. So La Fantastique 
in the pirate version is a British ship. Added a smoke generator. Whoa, okay, interchangeable with the main battery reload booster in the second slot. And sonar interchangeable with the engine boost in the third slot. So you're gonna wanna check that out probably, but yeah, a lot of French destroyers do not have a smoke generator. So very interesting here. Added an option for tube by tube torpedo launching and that is your British commander right there for the tube by tube torpedo launching. Uh, British, I think, are the only ships that have tube by tube torpedo launching. Uh, torpedo launcher reload time has increased from 88 to 95 seconds. So that's kind of a big hit right there. It's a nerf. And then the main battery damage is reduced from 2,000 to 1,800. So that's a 10% reduction in shell damage for HE shells. And it looks like a similar amount for armor piercing shells. They're both 2,000 damage. 10% um, on the uh, HE shells and probably like 8% or so on the armor piercing shells. Main battery reload time has increased um, a half a second from seven to seven and a half seconds. All right, so uh, that's it for the destroyer Caprice. And then we have the La Foundry, French battleship. And I believe this is based on the Jean Bart. This will not have the Jean Bart qualities as you can see here down in the red so this is a nerfed uh, Jean Bart basically uh, the real Jean Bart is a collector's edition no doubt or should be or will be I don't know but this is a Jean Bart that has these nerfs down here it looks like uh, with some improvements so so the ATBA the secondary battery range is increased up to 6.7 kilometers and that is a big secondary battery range increase right there and the Sigma is changed uh, up 20%, it looks like, from 1 to 1.2. Shell damage has been improved from 1,400 to 1,550 for the 4-inch 100mm guns and from 2,200 to 2,350 for the 6-inch 152mm guns. Uh, yeah, they were all increased. Rudder shift time is improved from 16 to 12.6 seconds. So. This is really going to do some turning on a dime, it looks like. So then the main battery range has been reduced. It's been nerfed from 17 and a half kilometers down to 16 and a half. And then it has worse accuracy than the Jean Bart. Sigma is changed from 1.8 to 1.7. And the reload time has been nerfed. It's been increased up to 27 seconds. But it's still, uh, that's still lower than the basic 30 second uh, reload time for a battleship main gun reload. So there is that. You can obtain the ships and the captains on their own in the store. Alternatively, you can try cracking open some of the treasure chests available through your platform store for guaranteed doubloons, commander progression items, all new pirate camos and chances to get the pirate commanders ships and even a super prize beware though some chests contain blackbeard's curse shiver me timbers and turn the tide mateys um the blackbeard's curse it's a drop of 1718 doubloons and 1718 was a year blackbird went to sleep with the fishes no further effect from the curse though so you're just going to get uh, 1,718 doubloons to commemorate 1718, the year Blackbird uh, passed away, it looks like. All right, so that's it. Uh, by the way, here are the drop rates, uh, the graphic for the drop rates of the new treasure chest that's going to be available when this event starts, and it will have a super prize, and we will be opening a bunch of those treasure chests to see if we can get that super prize. So stay tuned, everybody. And until December 1st, 2022, this is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.